um i thought that uh uh I'll, in the previous video i told you people about how to find the area of a quadrilateral when uh the length of one diagonal and the corresponding height was given but that was quite easy why because uh i mean of course when you've been given the length of a diagonal and you've been given the length of two heights you just simply it's, it's divided in front of you into triangles then of course who can stop you from finding the area of that triangle uh, from that from that area of the quadrilateral i mean it's so simple just divide it into two triangles already divided just find the area of the triangles and it's done that was quite easy but now the case which i'm going to show you it's going to be a little different dif different and a little difficult because uh in this case um uh i'll just draw the case first okay there you go so the ca this case is something like this now in this case we do not know the length of the diagonal nor do we know the length of the corresponding altitudes what we know is the length of uh, what we know is the length of this side the length of this side the length of this side and the length of this side and this is quite valuable why because in the second case we have a 90 degrees angle so if you have a 90 degrees angle well then it's very 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 much helpful to you because uh, i i think i'll just do it to you uh, i'll just give you the example with appropriate measurements and uh, we'll just have a look at the measurements okay so i'll take a rough measurement now this 90 degree is the key to solving the to getting the area of this entire figure just so you know i'll just remember uh, a pythagorean triplet come on pythagoras triplet let's see oh yeah cool so what i'm gonna do is let's say that this side is 10 this side is 28 Oh, oh wait I'll take this side as I'll take this side as 40 oopsies as 41 I'll take this size as my lucky number and this as 12 and now what is the area of this figure again as I said, you need to divide it into two triangles. This was said by me in my last video. That to find the area of any quadrilateral, you divide it into two triangles. But but if I divide it by, by figure into two triangles like this, it ain't gonna help me because I do not know the length of the diagonal. And neither do i know the length of triangle in both triangles right so this is not gonna work let's try doing it like this if i do it like this i still don't know the area uh the length of the diagonals but what i know is what i have is a 90 degrees angle and for you know i can apply the pythagoras theorem and i can find out the length of the diagonal. So let's do that. This diagonal will have a length of, let's call it D1 for it right now. So 9 squared plus 12 squared is equal to diagonal 1 squared. So 81 plus 144 is equal to diagonal 1 squared 144 added to 81 that gives me 5 2 and 2 225 neither and orderly very good so this gives me 
81 at 144 that's 225 is equal to the square of diagonal <coughs> excuse me I just had a, had a bit of spices <coughs> I had a bit of spices for my lunch <coughs> but 225 is equal to diagonal 1 so the square root of diagonal 1 squared is equal to the square root of 225 or rather I, this cancels out so I'm left with diagonal 1 is equal to 15 and I'm just gonna copy my figure you'll realize it later because I've actually run out of space there you go neat and now I'll clear the screen now I'll copy my figure and there you go and now so I can just remove this not needed bit but let it be so I figured out that the length of the diagonal is equal to 15 but why did I figure it out even? Even I mean there was no need of figuring it out. Because I already have the length. I this is a right angle triangle. I already have the height, I already have the base. I can simply say that if I take this as triangle one and this as triangle two, I can simply say that the area of triangle one is the base times its height divided by two, which is simply going to be 9 times 12 over 2 simple 6 which is 54 assuming that my calculations are correct uh, yeah I, I, I think they're correct um, yeah they're correct so I, I just got the area of the first triangle like this why did I even care about the diagonal because I still have triangle 2 and I need to find out the area of triangle 2 right and the area of the triangle 2 cannot be figured out without a diagonal but with a diagonal I don't have the height how will I figure out the area I can't apply the formula base times the height upon 2 because the height is not there now that I figured out the base this base or this base I had or this base I had I don't have the height so what to do this is the question well, what I can do is that I can check. I'll apply something called something which I haven't introduced you to yet, but some people might know it. It's the Heron's formula. I'll tell you about it later and I'll prove it later, but let's before proving it let's tell you what it actually is right so this Heron's formula is something very big and I'll write this big thing down here so it's the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c where s is actually equal to the semi perimeter or la let's call it if a b and c are three sides then this is equal to the semi perimeter of the figure over here also in the formula a b and c are three sides so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply this formula to find the area of triangle 2 and in Part 2 of this case, which is case 2, I'll continue with showing you how to find the area of a quadrilateral.